Okay, so what I'm about to break down for you is um the song Carry Me Home by um a band I'm a part of Kokoroko. We play um Afrobeat music, Afrobeat high life music, really inspired by West Africa. Um, especially the sounds coming up from Ghana and Nigeria, which are heavy Afrobeat and high life influences. Um so yeah, so this song Carry Me Home. It, it's um it's quite I'm not gonna lie it's, it's quite um a lot going on but it's something that you will be able to get especially once I just slow it down for you and just to, um and just go through each beat um of the of the original groove so this song has a section A and a section B groove that I keep switching um between so obviously you can listen to the song yourselves you know you can try this out um but I'm just gonna break down what I am actually playing in the songs okay. So this song is eighth note and sixteenth note based. It's in four four, um, and I'm just gonna go right into it, showing you the original groove. First, I'm gonna play it, and then I'm gonna break it down. Okay, so obviously fast, but like I said, we're gonna slow it right down. We're just gonna go one beat at a time. Um, so um, one thing I'll say about this sound-wise, um, and with any Afrobeat tune, you kind of go to to learn. You don't have to do this all the time, but I like doing it. I like playing um the snare drum with um the bottom of the drumstick. It just creates a more fat, uh, just a fatter sound, and especially because I'm not rim shotting loads when I play Afrobeat. Um, so if I'm playing the middle of the snare drum without uh, without hitting the rim of the snare, I just want it to be able to like just have a bit of depth to it. Um, and just yeah, so that's why um, um, to be honest, like Tony Allen was known for doing this. He anytime you saw Tony Allen play, he he was Tony Allen was the guy who played with Fela Kuti. Those two basically created Afrobeat music together. So um, he he would use the bottom of a stick um, a lot. It just yeah, it's just a much better sound for Afrobeat. So. I'm going to take you through this beat by beat. Beat one, what we're going to do is just play um, both hi-hat and um, the kick drum are going to play two, um, just two eighth notes. So it's going to go one and, okay? One and. One and. That's the first two notes. That's beat one there. Beat two. Um, we're going to play two eighth notes um, with the, with the uh, hi-hat. So it's going to go two and. And with your snare drum, while that's going on, while two and is going on with the high uh, with the hi hat, with the snare drum, you're gonna go two e and, okay. So what this together it sound like this. Okay, so when this is sped up, it may feel hard to get this speed wise. So take this groove, go to your metronome slow it down and work your um, way up and um, there's also a particular exercise that will be shown um, in the exercise section that will help with speeding up your 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 um, your your left hand or your right hand or whatever hand you want to work on um, just through the use of the fingers okay so um, here we go I'm just gonna play that for you beat one and beat two together so you've got one and two e and Beat three, you're gonna go um, three E with the foot. Your kick drum is gonna play three E. Um, your hi hat's gonna play eighth notes, three and. So together would be. But now you're gonna add the snare in, which is gonna come in on. Um, so the kick drum's going three E, um, and your hi hat's going um, three and. The snare drum comes in on the R uh of three, okay? So you've got three E and that's beat three. Slowly. Beat four. 
you're playing the snare drum's going to be playing um on the e e and right so e and of four that's what the snare drum plays so it goes one well, um so three beat three then four throughout the whole time i'm keeping um high um my hi-hat playing eighth notes so beat three and four together would be this see how four you got four is four e and four e and so the snare drum is getting the e, e and all together And occasionally in this groove, I add an uh, open hi-hat. So it changes quite a bit because I'm improvising as I play. Um, but I'll just give you uh, an example. Okay, so now I'm going to take you on to section B of the song. At the, at, the, at the end of that first A section, so you're playing the beat. I'm going to play the beat and I'm just going to play a snare. I just, I just, you can play whatever you want. I don't hit a cymbal. I'm just going to play um, the actual drum, the snare drum and the kick drum at the same time at the end of um, the groove. And you, you hear the song, you'll hear where that happens to lead into the next section. So this is how you're going to come out of that first groove and get ready for the next groove. on the one and what happens there you've got one two three four one two three four so the entry into the next section comes in on a push so it comes in on the end of four so you've got one two three four one two three four and that's where you're gonna come in okay so one two three four one two three four Coming, okay so now this part i am playing broken 16 like 16 notes throughout but for now i'm just going to leave that i'm just going to play eighth notes on the hi-hat but each eighth note we're going to have the open hi-hat on each like quarter note so even though we're playing eighth notes um even though we're playing um one and two and three and four and the open hi-hats are going to be on one two three four okay so this is what it sound like Slowly. Okay, so now let's just add the snare drum in before, um, um, I'm just gonna add the snare drum in, then we're gonna add the kick drum in. What's happening on the snare drum? So you've got one and a uh, two and three e and a uh, four and so I'm just gonna I'm just what I'm gonna do for you so you can catch where the snare comes in. I'm just gonna sing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna count it out and I'm just gonna play exactly where the snare falls with the with the sticks. One and a uh, two and three e and a uh, four and one and a uh, two and three e and a uh, four and one and a uh, two and Three e and a uh, four and so on beat one you've got the snare on one and a. Uh. On beat two you've got two and no snare. 
three on beat three you've got three e and uh so on beat three you're playing the snare on the e and the uh so one and a uh, two and three e and a uh, four and one and a uh, two and three e and a uh, four and Now, the bass drum comes in on beat two and beat four and we're playing eighth notes. So bass pat the bass on um, the kick drum um, pattern would go one, two and three, four and so it's going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that's where the bass drum is gonna come. We're gonna play eighth notes on two and four with this or with the um with the um kick pedal. So I'm just gonna play that for you. I'm gonna add one thing at a time. So hi hat. Let me play that slower for you actually. Now where the symbols come in on this is always on the end of four. So you've got one and two and three and four and Doesn't happen every time, but if you listen to the song, you'll see where they're coming in. I'm just gonna play that for you faster. Lastly, if you want to really step this up, um, the way I play on the record, um, I do broken um, 16th notes. So I'm playing, um, I'm going one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a on the hi-hat. So I'm going. So one, two, three, four. Sorry, remember. When we come in with this groove, we want to start on the and of four. So one, two, three, four. Faster. One, two, three, four. Sweet. So those are the main two grooves of um, of Kokoroko, Carry Me Home. Um, the more comfortable you get with it, the more you can improvise with it. So I'm just going to play that groove for you again, and I'm just going to show you what I mean by improvise. I'm just going to add some toms, a little fills. Um, one thing that's really important with fills with, Af with Afrobeat drumming, sometimes less is more, okay? So it doesn't necessarily have to be really fast fills. You just need to use your 16th notes, right? And break them up. So you could do a drum fill that is just, you're, play you're, you're playing 16th notes, but you're only playing the E's and the R's, okay? So for example, I'm gonna play that groove and I'm just gonna play your drum fill, just playing E's and R's, okay? One, two, three, four. So, with 
Afrobeat drumming feels you kind of want it. Not so many notes, just the notes you play make it like you really feel it, if you know what I mean. You could just go one and a two and a three and a four and a. One, two, three, four. It's nice, like you really got a um, uh, Afrobeat drumming when it comes to feels. Really mess around with the sixteenths, but you don't have to play every single note in the sixteenth bar in the sixteenth note rhythm. So break them up. One e, a two e, a three. Uh, one e, a, what? Sorry, ah, I can't improvise. <laughs> one e, a two e, one e, a two e, a three e, a four e, and one e and two e and and uh, 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 uh. get all of those e's and r's in it. So you know what I mean by that as drummers. I now probably sound like a to any other human being speaking right now. But drummers, you know what I mean. Use the E's and the R's and um, break them up. Okay, so that's that would be my advice for playing feels in an Afrobeat context. Nice one, hope you enjoy. And um, like I said, there's um, to help with all of this playing and the, and the, um, and the hand speed and coordination there'll be some exercises to help you guys out with this also included in this pack is a performance of me put on um, playing carry me home by coco roco um that is in this pack and also we got a drumless version um of carry me home for you to have a go at playing it um and yeah like and some of the other grooves, like especially the colonial mentality type of grooves, the ones that were like beginner, intermediate lesson, advanced lesson. You can look at any of these lessons and to be honest, you can play Carry Me Home and look at the more simpler grooves with less going on and just play a long term. Or like if you know what I mean, just create your own Afrobeat grooves to go underneath them and just practice anything you can see in this lesson pack um to that coco roco song um as it's drumless or practice along to fellow cootie music ebo taylor listen and listen to as much afrobeat as you can it's the only way you'll actually be able to get what the feel of it is there's knowing what to do and how to play things but making it to, to it's kind of like jazz you cannot just look at jazz thing and just sound like a jazz drummer straight away you have to listen to a lot of that music to be able to get it same with reggae same with afrobeat same with a lot of genres so listen and listen and listen to records fellow Kuti and ebo taylor check those two names out